this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a template for your students and provide places for them to type their responses as like a printable form, but your students won't be able to delete or change anything that you have in the main part of your template. So in order to do this, we're going to have to add a new tab that does not come automatically on our Word ribbon. So we're going to go over to File, and then all the way down at the bottom, Options. Then we want to add something to our ribbon. So we're going to Customize Ribbon. And then we want to add a new tab, one of the main tabs, that's called a Developer tab right here. So I'm just going to check the box, click OK. And now you'll see I have a new tab that's on my ribbon. It's called the Developer tab. Now, if I would like to provide a space for the students to type their name, I can just go here and click one of these text boxes. Now, I'll be honest with you, one of them says it's for rich text, but I haven't seen how to make it rich where you can make things bold or underlined or italicized, but I'm sure there is a way to do that. And then there's this plain text. I'm just going to try the rich one and see how that gives me a box. That's where the students are going to be able to type. If I want to delete that, I just click on it right here and I just hit the delete key. So again, that was just going back up to the developer tab and clicking on the, the text right there. Now I'm going to go down to address and I want them to have a place to type their address. So again, put in that box and then tell me about your summer. I'm just going to go down one because I might want them to write a lot more and give them another spot. Now this this still developer tool is pretty cool as I've been learning about it. As I said, I don't know everything about it, but it does allow you to put in places if you want to give them choices where they can put in a check mark or even drop downs. Let me make it easy. Yeah, here it is. You can give them like a drop down menu of things to choose and they could pick something in this drop down. So that's kind of cool. But um, this is just me showing you initially how to do it. So now you have this set up and now you want to make it so that you can give it to your students and they can't delete any of your changes and the format stays the same. In order to do that, you have to go to restrict editing. So I'm going to click that and I get a new box that comes over. I'm not sure really about this. I'm just going to click it anyway. But this is the main part. I want to set editing restrictions so that the students are doing this like it's filling in a form. So I'm going to leave in filling in forms. And then I want to start this enforcement so that when they open this document and they have their own copy of it, these editing restrictions will be in place. And the only way they can change them is by going in, finding this restricted editing and turning it off, which I doubt many of the students will do. So I'm going to click that. It does ask me to give a password. Um, so people can get in, but that's optional. Just leave that blank because you don't want to have a password and hit OK. And now I think this is what you're looking for. The user, see how I'm clicking on my name? I cannot do anything. It only lets me type in the box. And then I can move to the next box, type things in, and the next box, type things in. And now it's a Word document that you could use as a template, which would be like an integrated assignment in Schoology. That way the student pulls up the Word doc, they type in the information in the form um, spots that you want them designated to type in, and then it's returned to you in Schoology with no printing involved. So let me know if this is something that you're interested in. Um, hopefully this is what you're looking for.